you guys drop your debut album. Right. And it had some dope songs on it, but I Got Five on it. Yes. It was on a whole different level. Yes, sir. When you guys did that song, did you have any idea what it was about to do? We knew it was going to hit in the town. You know what I mean? Period. Because Drew Down had just did Pimp of the Year. Yeah. With Ann Banks. So we knew we had to hit hard, like coming after that. Like we had Ice Cream Man, that's cool, but it wasn't no pimp of the fucking year. So um, we was, when we first came, we was giving all our songs to Drew Down, the first two albums. And when we finally started working on our album, our first song we did was I Got Five on it, period. Um, Numb came up with the title, you know what I mean? Like CNH had this trap that he had us at. Y'all nigga was doing all type shit out that trap, but it was on 62nd and, ba and Bancroft. Like, literally, in the hood, you know what I mean? We'd go there, write our raps and shit, all the shit. So we there, you know, ain't got no weed that night. And I'm like, I got five on it. I got five. What you got, nigga? I'm like, damn, I think I got two bucks in my sock, nigga. <laughs> like, oh, shit, let's make the song. I got five on it about what it takes to pitch in and go get the weed. So yeah. we just started going back to back and just rhyming and piecing it up. And then, um, shit, it's the day of the fucking remake. You know what I mean? So Puff doing all the remakes. You know what I mean? The ultimate remakes. Drew just did the pimp of the year shit, the remakes. So we like, yo, what nobody did yet. And we like, yo, that Club Nouveau, they did the rumors, but they didn't do Why You Treat Me So Bad. Niggas rushed to the motherfucking record store. I don't know what the record store is on 40th and Telegraph in North Oakland back then. It was like right by Tech. We went to that record store, bought that motherfucker, and bought that to Tone Capone. Now, Tone Capone didn't just have five on it playing, and we just like, hey, that beat. Nah, nigga, we bought, we should get co-production, which, which we didn't. We didn't know what the fuck was going on. But anyway, we bought the album to this nigga like, yo, we want this. We do this. You know what I mean? I had the hook. I was saying the hook. I got five on it. Like, nah, man, we need somebody to sing. And Tone knew Mike Marshall, who was from Timex Social Club. So mm -hmm. everything was just lined up, period. The stars was lined up. The connections was lined up. It was the right move. You know what I mean? It just happened organically, you know what I mean, period, and shit, we made history. Now, we knew it was gonna pop in Oakland, you know what I mean, so we made it in 93, at the end of 93, we pocket that motherfucker, put in the cut, and then drop it till 95, and it still hit. We had that bitch since 93, bro. That was well, our first song we made working on our solo album, The Loonies, I Got Five on it. I mean, would you say that this is the biggest Bay Area song ever? Hip hop song ever? Fuck no. You got, no. you got Hammer doing all that diamond shit selling 50 billion. Well, yeah. well. <laughs> now, that's the biggest weed song. I could say that. <sighs> I think it's the biggest weed song. I mean, Hammer, Hammer had Can't Touch This. I mean, you can't, you you can't can, touch this was Can't Touch This. I mean, that, that, was a huge, that was a huge one. Huge. But huge. people don't play Can't Touch This anymore, but they you're still right. you're play. Right. You're right. Absolutely. I got five on it. Man, shout, out Hammer. <laughs> shout out to Hammer. Shout out to Hammer. Shout out to Hammer. You know, I fuck with you. <laughs> I fuck with you, Hammer. You know shout this. Shout out to Hammer. But... In 2019, I Got Five on it is a more relevant Bay Area song than any other Bay Area song, including MC Hammer, including Souls of Mischief, Thank including you, uh, you know all the two short anthems and stuff like that. I think I Got Five on it is probably the biggest one. That's huge, man. I got I, I got to so. tell you a five on the story, man. Okay. 40, 40 going to be mad at me. Let's go. <laughs> 40 going to be mad at me. But 40 was overseas, man. He said nut was working. You know what I mean? I think it was in Germany. I don't know. Somewhere. Nothing was working. He put that five on it. This <laughs> nigga, the whole crowd was crazy. He said it saved this show. He said after he did the five on it, they was with it. Anything else he played, it was on. But before that, it was like, ugh. Well, you know it seems I mean? like whenever, I mean, I don't know about other areas, but in the Bay, when you play I Got Five on it, the crowd always throws in the BH. Oh, yeah, definitely. In the, in, in the middle, it's, it's, I it's Got tradition. Five on it, BH. <laughs> It's tradition, bro. Is it's that like that everywhere or just the Bay? Just the Bay. Just they the know bay. it. Yeah, you got to like coach them. Like, hey, say bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to coach them and shit. But the Bay, they fucking with it heavy. They know it. We ain't got to yeah. say shit. You ain't got to say shit. Period. And then the remix comes out. Yes. Woo. And name everyone on the remix. Richie Rich, E-40, Spice One, Humpty Hump, a.k.a. Shaq G, mm -hmm. <laughs> Captain Sabre Ho. Remember you said that? No, school drew down a yuck mouth, man. Period. And Mike Marshall, man. Yeah. You dig? Like, we basically took a page out of Puff Daddy book. You know what I mean? They just did the flavor of the year. You know what I mean? With uh, Big E, LL, Craig Mack, the remix. Remember the big remix? The it's just? Yeah. Bootitious. <laughs> Sweetie. Delicious. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that meant, LL. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck was that line? I have no idea. Bootitious. Bootitious. <laughs> 
sweetie, the lip. Like, what the fuck was he saying? Anyway, that video, bro, we got it from that. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? They did their thing on the East Coast. We like, fuck it, we gonna bring it back together and just do the Bay, though. You know what I mean? Really tap in with the Bay, not just, you know, get LA and all that, but we wanted to tap in, focus on our brothers, the people that we looked up to in the game. And that's the dudes we looked up to. Spice One, E-40, uh, Too Short. I mean, not Too Short went on this. We was beefing with him at the time. But if we wasn't beefing, Show would have been on that motherfucker. But just the dudes we looked up to, they paved the way for us, all them dudes. You know what I mean? From from Digital Underground to Spice One and so on and so on, man. So, Well, you know, full circle in 2019, uh, Jordan Peele releases the trailer to his new horror movie, Us. Hey! And you got like sort of a remade version of I Got Five on it playing throughout the whole trailer. That shit. Sure, hey. that was a nice feeling. Hey, man, that it was on Christmas. That yeah. was the ultimate Christmas gift. You're right, yeah. We actually, watching the games and shit, then poop, poop. <laughs> hey, poop, poop, poop. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It go creepy and shit. Like, yo, salute to Jordan Peele, man. That's huge, man. Like, we didn't, right. we seen the, the trailer mm. about three months ago. You know what I mean? We just didn't know when it was coming out. Man, shit, that shit just said, wow, like, whoa, okay. So, yeah, well, I guess yeah, the movie it's, it's is, uh, the movie is set in the bay. Yeah. So this is like the perfect song to kind of. That's what he said. He said since it's set in the Bay, he wanted an anthem, like a creepy anthem, you know, because I guess he filmed it in Santa Cruz or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they wanted a Bay Area anthem, you know what I mean, to be a part of it. And I guess Jordan Peele said he always felt like five on him was creepy. I never felt like that. (laughs) I never (laughs) felt like that. But he said they had this eerie little creepy. And when they slowed it down, it became eerie and fucking creepy. There you go. That bling, ding, ding, bling. It was hella spooky, like Freddy Krueger or some shit. So... Yeah. Well, I mean, you still perform the song to this day. Facts. <laughs> Fuck. That's You're not check. booking Yuck Mouth <laughs> without him expecting perform. him to perform. <laughs> That's probably the contract. That's like, in don't the think contract. you don't go in here doing some of your <laughs> five some on your, it included. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't just come in here and do an album cut. With okay. or without numb. <laughs> the five on it included. Yeah, definitely. Um, did you actually get publishing and proper paperwork off that uh, song? Hell yeah, man. Okay. I got our publisher deal, man, with Big John. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> you had your business right. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Because that's I mean, constantly played at like sports arenas and, you know, and so far. I'm sure it gets uh, put in movies and TV shows also. Man, that pay, that pay all the bills, that bro. Pay all, so I got five on it has been paying all your bills pretty much. I mean, I'm young mouth, bro. Don't do me like that. No, 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 no. But, but I'm but saying, it, okay, well, yeah, yeah. But, 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 like, 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 like how you got your stocks, and you can right, just, just right. sit and just, just let me, have let it. Let me just, put it yeah. like this, and it's not, it's not an insult because, for example, I talked to Sir Mix a lot, right? And he said he made a hundred million off Baby Got Back. Yeah, Baby Got Back. I mean, tens of millions, I think, would be low. So Baby Got Back has made over a hundred million. You feel? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's definitely made over a hundred million dollars. I can tell you that. I mean, I just look at my lifestyle and where it's been since 1992, and it hasn't fallen off. Shit. <laughs> see, see, see what I'm saying? God damn. We ain't made that much, but we good. Right. He made, <laughs> he's still good. maintaining the same rapper lifestyle off of today that song. off yeah. of that one song. Bro, you see me, man. Niggas ain't taking no steak off my plate, bro. <laughs> right. You feel me? I put right. up this thing in a Porsche, I, That's bro. what I'm saying. Sometimes, I put up in a Porsche, blowing on the best weed. Vlad, have, you, have I been doing the same shit since you know me? Yep. Have I ever looked like I've been hurting around this bitch since you know me? Always had jewelry, always look fresh. Always had the fly cars. Yep. All that. You always had to fly shit too, man. Right back at you. <laughs> Period. But yeah, I've been nigga been doing this shit. This shit ain't nothing new, but it's a big, you know what I mean, contribute to five on it. Period. Like five on it pay the bills. Fact though, we're about to get uh, another publishing deal on the table, man. Big John, holla! Nice. <laughs>